Did you get live reporting of the historic storm by the Weather Channel? Or did you get a movie? I got a movie. Personal TV, now at a Best Buy near you. Plus, an exclusive conversation about how Locate TV can be a listing dream for cable operators. It's all ahead, and much more as the TV news starts right now. This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV TV for Monday, November 16th, and here are today's top stories. Flow TV has arrived. Last month, we told you about the impending introduction of Flow TV's personal TV into the marketplace. And now, just in time for early holiday shoppers, personal TV has hit the shelves at Best Buy. Flow TV's personal TV will set you back about 250 clams, and you'll pay an additional $15 a month for live streams of 15 networks that include CBS, NBC, and MTV networks. And for more on Flow TV's big push into the big retailers, log on to broadcastingandcable.com. This is from the Media Can Do Nice Things, even if they are a little bit self-serving file. ESPN, Cleveland Fox affiliate WJW-TV, along with local sponsor Bud Light, have all ponied up to take all of the unsold tickets off of the Cleveland Browns' hands to avoid a home blackout of the Ravens-Browns Monday night football game tonight. The purchase unsold inventory of tickets has been donated to the USO as well as other local charities. Thanks guys. We're certain that Greater Cleveland and Vicinity appreciates your kindness. For any of you still watching TV via a CRT rig, listen to John McEnroe. You cannot be serious! But there's good news for all of you cathode ray tube TV types. CNN is reporting that irresistible price deals will be the norm for flat screen HD TVs this holiday season. 32 inch LCD sets will sell for under $400, 40 inches for about $800, and the best deal seen yet for Black Friday is a 32 inch Westinghouse at Target for $246. So for those of you who have yet to jump into HDTV flat screens, ready, set, shop. And as for me, I'm headed to Target. We examine the big picture every Monday here at the TVNews.TV, and yes, we have a few more things to say about movies on Friday nights on the Weather Channel. The Atlantic Assault, the Weather Channel so aptly named that storm that they described as deadly and historic, and it's gone. But some serious coverage questions remain. Late Friday, the Weather Channel announced to consumers, not to the media, that they would be preempting their warmed over movie presentation of the 19 year old flick Misery in certain storm affected areas of the Northeast. Now, the rest of the country was going to have to endure misery. And to that we say, okay, decent start on writing an obviously wrong, but we contend that you're still missing the point. Anyone in the rest of the country, and especially those just coming back to life in the mid-Atlantic, well, they were denied any live forecasting information during your Friday night movie time. A made up assertion? Absolutely not. All related to me by both family and friends and colleagues in hard hit areas of the mid-Atlantic. Now this hit and miss continuous live coverage strategy during weather emergencies that happen during your movie is more than troubling on a variety of levels. Who's making these last minute decisions? You get live coverage of a historic storm or you don't. How, how is that person anointed with that kind of power? Who, I mean, who's saying this? What are the threshold levels in making such a decision? Is it number of deaths? In which case it was six in this. How much property damage? Is it calculated in billions? Where's the line? It all seems so autocratic and it really appears as though you're kind of making this up as you go along. That's no way to run an airline. There's an easy solution to the slippery slope on which you ventured onto the Weather Channel. Why not deliver what you were created for and for what you have promised and dutifully fulfilled and most importantly, what your customers are paying you for up until recently. 
to provide continuous, continuous live forecasting and reports about the weather that affects us and those we care about in other areas. Now, anyone who has taken Introduction to Mass Media 101 in college knows about Marshall McLuhan and the global village that stems from mass communications. The uh, global village is a world in which uh, you don't necessarily have harmony. You have extreme concern with everybody else's business and much involvement in everybody else's life. This oh-so-basic global village concept has been oh-so-lost upon the Weather Channel. They figure, if you aren't right there, you aren't worthy of the information. You're worthy of a movie. So how has the Weather Channel reacted to the TV news series of editorials about movies versus live forecasting? Well, one mid-level executive called me an idiot on a social networking site. That's okay, I'm a big boy, I can take that. I invited the same person to come onto the TV news or designate someone within the organization to address our concerns. My invitation was met with a one-word written response. Pass. So, that appears to be the end of any constructive dialogue on this matter. How will the Weather Channel react the next time they're faced with weather crisis versus giving you a movie? We don't have a clue. You'll just have to stay tuned. As always, we endeavor to strike a balance in our editorial and commentary. And we'd love your opinion on this or any other issue facing the TV industry that we report on. Please email your opinion in text or even a video file to opinion at the tvnews.tv and we thank you. Tech Talk is brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. Now we connect you with Tech Talk here on the tvnews.tv. We're continuing our exclusive conversation with Steve Tranter of Locate TV as they strive to ensure that viewers can access all of the content that's going to be out there and anywhere as we hurdle toward TV everywhere. We asked Steve to outline the benefits of Locate TV for the cable operators. So right now we're at a, a bit of a tipping point where you know the operators are seeing that uh, there's, uh, there's an option for viewers to start looking for content beyond their regular traditional TV operators. So they can get content online from you know, websites, um, you know, they can download it um, such as uh, iTunes and so on. So these are all threats to the regular operator. The first thing it does is it uh, gives a, an online presence for those operators. So it provides the, uh, a very robust, a very, a very rich um, guide experience for the channels, for the programming that's available for those operators to those viewers. So it gives you a much richer guide experience than you can get on a set.box using uh, guide data from Tribune Media Services. And it really enhances you know, things like uh, the images that you can get there, the photographs. Um, you get a lot more information about the programs, the actors and, and characters characters and so on, uh, as well as the writers, directors, and it gives you contextual links. So if you like a particular movie or a program, and you like the direction of it or the writing, you can then link from that writer or director to see what else they've done. So it gives you a lot more scope, and then see when that's, when they you know, the programs and films that you've discovered from uh, those searches, and you can see when they're available on the operator's uh, platform. So they're keeping you within that realm. We are, you know, um, enhancing what's already in the guide on the set top box, but providing more. And then in addition to that, it is pointing them as well to other sources of that content if it's not available. So, you know, online content and DVDs as well. So it's given a much richer experience. And it is something that can be, you know, in incorporated into the operator's uh, platform, and then they can use it to extend extend their reach onto the PC without losing them as well if they wanted to uh, you know, brand it as well. At the moment it's an independent site but it's available to operators should they want to reach out and uh, use that as a, a web portal to the viewers. We'll have more with Locate TV Steve Tranter in the weeks to come here on Tech Talk right here at the TVnews.tv. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Storn Associates, sports and entertainment marketing specialists. Log on to StornAssociates.com and start connecting with sponsors and consumers. The Cable Show wants to plug you into the multi-billion dollar cable industry at the Cable Show 2010, next May in Los Angeles. For more information, log on to 2010.thecableshow.com. 
And if you want to talk to the TV industry at large, or even a specific segment of the industry, all using the magic of video, consider being an advertiser here on the TVnews.tv. To get started, email us at advertise at the TVnews.tv. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We'll be back tomorrow with the only daily video newscast about the TV industry for the TV industry. And that includes our regular Tuesday feature, New TV Concepts in New Media with Stan Melton Jr. Until then, you can connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching, and go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.